Arsenal versus Aston Villa. And actually, Martin, that means you're playing the two because you said you had two passes and two plays. So we end. Do you have two plays yeah. for the next two uh, games? I've got three plays. Ooh, all right. Yeah, I've got three plays. Too. When it rains, two, three it plays pours. Two games. When it rains, Three it officials. Two. All right. Fire kindly asks, who will score the goals for Manchester United? We look like fortune tellers. Do you know what I mean? Get a crystal ball out. God knows who's going to. Where do we know who's going to play? We're predicting. We predict. We play any time goal scorer. That's, what, that's exactly know, what we're with, doing. But with Manchester United, you they didn't ask her what, 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 you know, she's going to have for dinner, did we? There's or probably more like, chance of us getting it like... right at the minute. Man United selection process is like they chuck, chuck the balls into a bingo machine and they pop out and then they play. They've got no. They've got no uh, team rota at the moment. It's like who who knows who's going to play. Who knows? Who knows? OK, Arsenal versus Aston Villa. Arsenal 1.45. I have to say both teams to score bet is generally the play where you hit Arsenal. Can you trust Aston Villa to score, though, Martin? I can trust Arsenal to concede. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, were they, what were they doing against Watford? 2-0 up and cruising. They just kept playing that ridiculous short goal kick routine gifted Watford two glorious chances. They missed them both. And then instead of learning their lesson, they did it a third time. Cleverly just banged it in, 2-1. Suddenly the crowd was ready, all behind them. And in the end, Arsenal holding on, lucky to get a point. Uh, they had 23 shots on goal against the Watford team that were bottom of the league and playing awful. So, uh, yeah, you've got to think they'll, <laughs> they'll contrive a way to concede against Aston Villa, even though Aston Villa have drawn a blank a few times so far this season. Um, and I think... It was Bernd Leno came out after the game and said, Arsenal aren't going to stop trying to play out from the back. We're going to keep on with this philosophy. Worrying, really. They, uh, they, they don't have the players for it. And Granite Jack is a hothead. Defence looking terrible. I think Arsenal will continue conceding goals throughout the season. But I think they'll get a few in this one. Um, they're playing away as we speak. Uh, so they might be a little bit tired. They're, they're winning. They're beating Eintracht Frankfurt. Um, but I think at home they're a lot better than they are away. They've rested quite a few players as well. He's got a lot of the kids playing out there tonight. So he'll get in the big guns again, like Meza Urza will be back. Uh, I think they can win this one with, with a few goals. So no, uh, Meza Urza does set up goals against uh, poor teams like Aston Villa. So I'm going half my stake on Arsenal and over 2.5 goals, 1.83. Off on Alex Classic 1.91. Both teams to score in over 2.5 goals. Yeah. What's the What's just the price for both teams to score? I think it's, it's going to be, be relatively low. Let me just check. Uh, well, you can get 1.65 at Betway. Yeah, I was going to say we have William Apono here says I believe more that the Earth is flat instead to believe that Arsenal will win this game. Wow. <laughs> Well, you never know. What do you think? Are you going to take Aston Villa at eight? I'm going with Arsenal to win to nil at 2.75. And the reason is there'll be a high line. I think that most of the game, maybe 75% of it, will be played in the Aston Villa half. I think Arsenal will learn a little bit of their lesson last week. I think there'll be different personnel in the team. Um, I don't think it will be the same. I don't think there's anywhere near momentum on Villa's side that there was at Watford. Watford were at home. Remember, they absolutely tore Watford to shreds, turning up and cruising. All week, I've been thinking, how am I going to play this? Because I would have left Arsenal alone against any other side with any other fixture other than Aston Villa at home the following week when they've just killed me in the way they did. And I'm going to throw a bit of faith into... Them keeping the ball and basically, <laughs> basically just getting the job done. At I just thought two seventy five was just too big, so I've gone Arsenal to win to nil at two point seven five. Varno, I believe this is is aimed at your uh, bet selection. Says suicide. It like like <laughs> Arsenal's defending last week. I can't. But the thing is, everything points. Everything points to them gifting Aston Villa chances. But if you have a look at the way that Arsenal play when they're at home, they do play with a higher line. They do squeeze. They do everything at home that they should be doing when they're away. And they do control the game a lot better. I think that 
I, I just believe that they're going to play with a different philosophy and they'll have different personnel. And I think wow. the 275 is so much value for a side that are 1.45 just to win. I know. I know. You know this is a group record as well. You know, we're trying to build up our... I know. But I'm trying know. to give the value. And, and I do believe that there's such a golf in these two sides. All right, there we go. Remember, it's your choice what bets you decide to play of the ones <laughs> suggested uh, by both Martin okay. and Fat. You don't have to take every bet no. that they suggest. It does go to their record. And obviously, look, hopefully Flash is the last man standing. If not, it's going to be me over the weekend saying, I told you so. But really? Anyway, What's that from where you're all, going? Where you're going other, on holiday, leaving Miami. me at home? Miami. <laughs> I'll, I'll find a way. Going to I'll, Miami. I'll, I'll find a way. I'll find a way to call you.